and uh, my name is John. Hi. And I'm from the United States, I guess. This is going to India, right? Yeah. <laughs> and um, I'm I'm talking here with uh, my friend Camilla, it is correct? Yeah. And I guess we're talking about artwork. Yes, we are talking about artwork. And uh, she wanted to see some of the way I do my uh, artwork. If I'm going to be traveling, usually I like to, to draw outside. So I use in um, cases that I can bring all my favorites with me. At least get the basics of it down. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, they, pretty much, they can pretty much cover everything. I mean, I have a lot of art supplies. And um, I have a lot of favorites. And I have little boxes that I carry that I can put in my backpack. But it gets kind of heavy. Yeah. So these are all my favorites. And the um, electric eraser. That's... Yeah. And see a lot of your art files with you. I'm very curious to see what all is inside that. Um, I want to see your drawings. <laughs> I brought um, a lot of this is just uh, sketch stuff. Or they, they might have been things that were ordered and never picked up. Um, or ones that I started that I didn't like. But these are very beautiful. And some of them are just crap. Okay. So you are, are you basically an artist? Mm -hmm. uh, or you do, you are something else by profession? What do you do for your art? Tra I drive tractor trailer. Okay, you've got a tractor. Tra 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 truck. Tractor truck. And I got sick. Oh. And I've been off of work for um, about a year now. But I'm able to go back to work, but so I'm kind of in the transition. But my family, everybody in my family is an artist. Everybody in your family is an artist? Pretty much. What happened during trucking? Why were you laid off? And how did art help you? Well, I was, um, I, I was almost, I almost died. I had a cancer in my back that left, left me with a bunch of abscesses around my spinal column. Oh my God. And by the time they got me out of my truck, I, they had to carry me. I couldn't walk no more. And so I was in the hospital for three months. And um, they didn't think I'd ever walk again. But um, power prayer. Um, and um, so in the transition of always having to be creative, I've always have been, um, I saw online somebody had drawn what's called a hyper-realistic eye. Oh. And I liked it a lot. So where did you see that eye drawn? Yeah, it was online. I don't remember. Online, where, okay. Where I came across it. And here the, 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 the person that had drawn it has a website, how to draw a hyper-realistic eye. Hyper-realistic eyes, yeah. okay. So I went by her tutorial, and pretty much this is the result of it. Oh, wow, that's beautiful. And this is kind of a play on words. It says, love you, but it says, I love you. So oh. <laughs> I, and I made that yeah. for my wife for Valentine's Day. Oh, that's very, very sweet of you. You're using all type of colors. What colors are these? Uh, that's a, a red. I like anything. I, I like drawing eyes and teardrops. Uh, eyes and teardrops? Um, because of the, you can get so much, you can get so much um, depth and um, real, realism to it in so short of uh, a step. But um, my favorite is just to do the pencil. Yeah. And, Pencil, what I do is a pencil here. Can you sh show me how to? Because I was always looking forward that you have some time to spare for me and I can learn how to make an eye. I can learn something from you. All right. Well, I, will I want to see this it. one. It's just it's very impressive. Can I see? Yeah, see, yeah, that one, that one. The pupil is shaped like a heart. Oh, that yeah, one, that one was that's a pupil on. shaped with a heart, right? This was just kind of being, I was just doodling. But this is very nice as well. But this doesn't seem to be like a human eye. No. Oh, wow. And that one's not finished yet either because of the highlight. And that'll all get filled in. Mm -hmm. But usually what I do is a lot, a lot of people like me to hide things in that highlight. This is eye on fire. Yeah, that's my 4th of July eye. <laughs> you know what I just did the other day? And 
and for this one, this side, you really don't want to do much curve to it. You kind of just want to um, draw it out from where it starts. The real curve comes in over here. And I'm very um, OCD, I guess, about my curves. Yeah. There are so many of 
tried another technique where you do them straight up, but you, 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 you gradually make them smaller. And they don't fall on the fanning. And it does look pretty neat when it's finished. I'm not going to do that here because there's a lot of work to it. you got to meet it or match it on the other side. And if you don't start out correctly, you run out of room. Now the patch pencil shading and your colors. They look beautiful together in the... you came over. Oh, I'm glad to be here. Yeah. Tinkered around with like 52 different songs. And because I did my mind just, I can't keep my my mind. So the doctor put me on Adderall, which worked. I got a 4.0 in college. Okay. I graduated with. But um, and since then, I'm not on the Adderall anymore, but since then I learned how to stay focused a little better. <laughs> was that a lot, not let my mind drift. All right, so what I'm doing with the darker color, a blue, which is actually supposed to be light blue, I'm going and filling in some of the areas to connect from the from the shadowing that will connect down to the color, the, the striped color. And since this is still considered the shadow part, you don't have to be as detailed oriented. I found you can come back. I will put some detail in with the white, but you don't have to. And what I like about the white that I showed you, the uh, China marker, is it's so versatile. It can be drawn on, um, and it can uh, it can draw over anything. And so with the highlight want to get to with um, what I put in there. You can do anything. I've done scenes. Um, uh, I, I found what looks the best and what people respond to the best is just a silhouette of a head. Because yeah. anytime you look into anything reflective and then there's a placement for it, but um, anything reflective you're going to see the light that is reflecting other oh, person's head. Yep, your shadow is going to be blocking it. Yeah. And then I get the greatest response from it. Mm -hmm. So I, I do it in pencil first. And then if you're going to leave just a silhouette of just the head, then you have to do, when you do the eyelashes, then you kind of, you can do the eyelash reflection in there. And that usually, if you do it right, it goes over pretty well. I do blue first and then black. And because I used, oh, I didn't use China marker in here.
TGTG stands for Two Gods of Glory. All my pictures.